friend of mine, old oh, guys in the story in the day, a friend of mine that used to do the gyms, he owned his own gym, um, Linthorpe Road, next to the Kentucky, he had a gym there, lovely gym, also now beautiful. And he lent five grand, this led across the road, and he had a shop, it was a designer clothes shop, and he, had, he lent him five grand to pay him back five grand and, a, and like a grand on top of it for lending him it, he had it about two months. I had another lad who bought it with him, it was an hairdresser in the town. So the other one was quite a big lad, the other one across the road was the Asian kid, but he wasn't a big lad, but he thought he was a bit of a boy because he was a drug dealer as well. So you know, you're a tax I said, no, I'm here for the five grand what you bought off such and such. And I want two grand wages for all the fuck about. So he wants his five grand back. And you were supposed to give him a grand, and I want a grand for my wages now coming here. He said, oh yeah, I'll sort it, I'll sort it. He said, I've been meaning to go and see him. I said, you live across, you're across the road from him. He's over there, every time he comes, you fucking um, walk upstairs in your shop or shut the door. Been going on for two months. I said, lad's good enough to give you the money. Pay him back. Now you owe me a wage for coming. Anyway, the address went, I'm not fucking paying him. Fuck him, so I went, he went around the Cleveland Centre. I went in there, he's, he's there with all the people in the shop. went, don't have me follow with you. Don't have me. He said, I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay. Arse completely went. Anyway, they both paid the, the money back. So the lad, now nah, I, I got a grand off the lad, but the lad said, yeah, there's another 500 quid. So I ended up with 1,500 pound. And he got his money back. And I went over, the fifteen pound he gave me, I went over and I bought a pair of shoes off of them with, they were 500 pound he gave given for three, uh, 250 quid. So I bought shoes off and I bought a top off him, so I spent 500 pound in a shop on clothes. So I ended up shaking his hand and I had him there. Went and seen the other, I shook his hand and everyone was all right with us in the end, but they did all the money, it wasn't taxing. And they did a lot more of these to come in these stories, we tell you in a day, we taxed for, for 26 years. Not tax them, getting money back for people. Some brilliant stories with Terry, absolutely funny. So another one there, that, so, the, so this lad who went to the gym, he owed money for the gym, you know, the rent. And it was, he, he'd been, he's, he was behind the money, what he lent him, you know. So he, he was going to get his gym took off him. <clears throat> he had about 200 members in the gym, all being well let down. He had about 30, uh, 15 people working for him <clears throat> in the gym, structures and cleaners and things like that. It was his business, so he'd have went under, he'd lost his house and everything, so I didn't intervene and help him. But them two lads ended up, they were owed money off someone, and I went and collected the money for them, so we ended up, it all, all worked out good. Nobody got hurt, nobody got touched, nobody got beat up with nothing. And, and uh, I was just trying to negotiate with people and talk to people nice, and you get you get there plenty, all that threatening and bullying and everything. Didn't do that. If people want to have a go, they can have a go, but they wouldn't, they didn't last long. But yeah, that's another story of the day, just to let you know, guys, and more, more and more and more to come. God bless you.